Hello my friends, welcome to my video. Today we're going to be talking about why you shouldn't sleep on the MetaZoo theme decks. And uh, the reasons are probably pretty obvious, but I'm going to point them out in case you don't know. After we do that, we're going to take a look at the pull rates of a case and a half of MetaZoo theme decks. UFO, the latest ones, we're going to take a look at what we get out of those packs. Well, we all know that Pokemon theme decks are worth a lot of money, especially the vintage ones. This is currently worth $150, $200 on eBay. You see them sold for that price all day long. This is over 20 years old. Imagine what this would be worth if it had a vintage pack in it. This could have easily included a base set pack, making this worth $500, $600, $700, $800, dollars over time. So... These not including packs, they're still worth a lot of money because it has sealed vintage Pokemon cards. Those of you familiar with vintage Pokemon know that this deck comes with that first edition Machamp, so you get a holographic card in there by default. I know it's not the rarest card, but it is in there. It is a vintage holo Pokemon card that you can get with this theme deck. As with all vintage Pokemon theme decks, you can get a holo card, making those theme decks pretty desirable. I'll give you that. Some of you may know that I own a lot of vintage Pokemon theme decks, but the reason I own a lot of them actually isn't a good reason. It's because there's no temptation to open them. This Platinum Rising Rivals, I already know what's in there. There's no pack. And it's not to say that Pokemon never put packs in their theme decks. When you look at some foreign decks, like this French one, Heart Gold Soul Silver, it came with a pack inside. One booster pack was inside this. Now, at the time, I think I paid $20 for these, and I bought a bunch of them because the vintage pack makes it more desirable. So with this one in particular, you're getting a Shatter Ice Foil Espeon along with an unopened vintage Heart Gold Soul Silver pack. That's pretty awesome. This one, Nido King. Okay? Good stuff, right? These Evolutions theme decks would have sold a lot faster had they had a pack of Evolutions inside. I can't understand why they don't do that with their theme decks to make them fly off the shelves, but then again, maybe they just want people to pick them up and play and then buy the packs as a separate pr purchase. I don't know. I don't know what Pokemon's thinking. I'm not in their heads. I don't work for Pokemon Company. I don't know. Just saying they should have put a pack in these. Am I right or am I right? You let me know in the comments. I think they should have put a pack in them. Digimon knows. Digimon has been putting packs in their theme decks. I applaud that. That is a good move. And that is bringing me to the main topic of our video today, the MetaZoo theme decks. These have packs inside of them. They have a promo card sealed in plastic. That's a foil. And then you have the theme deck as well, which has a foil and has a long-term investment. If you're interested in MetaZoo, I will tell you that these are not a bad pickup at all. And we're about to look at the pull rates. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed in the pull rates in these theme decks. With that said, let's get this video started as to why you should not be sleeping on these theme decks, short term or long term. Let's go, you guys. Okay, so we are jumping right into this. We are not just doing the case, like I said. We are doing a case and a half, so three of each theme deck. We might as well just do, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna do three at a time of each and see what the pull rates are, because we gotta know, right? Are they good? Is this batch, like, extra good? You know, we gotta find out. So there's a pack in each one, like I said. So this is not a review of the theme decks. What I'm gonna do is, I'm actually going to give Jamie one of each theme deck and we're going to test them out and kind of give a review of each one. So that's gonna be a video that will be coming. It's not gonna be done super soon, but it's something we're gonna do soon. I, it's something I'd probably like to do with each set. So there is our UFO pack that we're gonna be opening. And of course you have that promo card in each. Look at that foil pattern, that is just stellar. There's tons of room for foil on this one. Great promo. And there is the deck with the hollow as well. But we're, like I said, we're not reviewing the decks in this video. That will come soon. It will be a very detailed <laughs> video. And then also we have the, the rule book, a coin, 
which is great. Love the coins. And this, yep, this is a play mat like I thought it was. Very nice. So yeah, that's the most detail you're going to see out of the theme decks in this particular video. Again, we are going to elaborate a lot more on these decks. And once again, thank you to MetaZoo for sending me so much UFO to check out. I'm super excited. Oh, okay. We're starting off with Men in Black, non hollow rare right there. That's pretty awesome. I know the hollow one's one of the coolest cards in the set. Oh, that, that's a cool card, right? <laughs> it's been like, I think, a week or so since I opened MetaZoo. So I'm like, oh yeah, it's looking, looking fresh and exciting. I love this card, actually. That one's so cool to me. Time Machine baseball bat, blue jet strike. This one's cool because I'm an arcade fan. Okay, so we have a reverse. So if you watch my live booster box opening, I got almost entirely hollows with four reverses. That was a really loaded booster box. That was just one of the three that I opened so far. So hopefully the other two are just as lucky, but we're starting off with a reverse Casablanca Entity. So that is our first pull out of the theme decks. This is the uh, first MetaZoo theme deck I have opened. And again, just want to compliment that safety seal. That is a great thing that MetaZoo does. And uh, you got that on the bottom as well. Smart choice. Oh, I did a terrible job of slicing it with my knife. Oh my goodness, the way I ripped that box. I'm so sad. <laughs> So promo card, I mean, the important thing is nothing's damaged besides the box. And these, like I said, the decks are gonna be used. And I figured out if I'm going to give the second batch of decks to somebody. I'm keeping a, a set of decks for myself. I'm gonna be, like I said, using them, testing them out with Jamie, but I might spread the MetaZoo love elsewhere. Um, one of my favorite thing to do with TCGs is give them away to kids who don't have a ton. Oh, we got a caster gun. Give away to kids that don't have a ton of money. Like I will do repacks and give them out to the neighborhood kids. And, you know, spreading the love of MetaZoo might not be a bad idea for friends and family and friends, kids and stuff. It might be a good time to try and get them playing MetaZoo as well. So we got a dwarf star. Monster of Partridge. Oh, we got another reverse. We got Riverside Monster. That is a very cool looking reverse. And I just love how MetaZoo does reverses. I gotta say, I wish Pokemon would do reverses like this. Try it out, something similar. Um, it's just more exciting than the Pokemon reverse, I feel like. So I'm gonna try and be a little better with this one. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad I butchered that box. Let's see. That trusty Mario knife is too sharp. <laughs> okay. Pack, here we come. I'm gonna have a big stack of wrappers and decks over here. So we're off to an interesting start. Two reverses out of the two theme decks so far. One, two, three, four. The card trick is the same with Pokemon for well, Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield era and Sun and Moon era is four. I think X, Y is three. Um, but yeah, same as modern Pokemon. So if you're used to opening Pokemon, you could be used to opening MetaZoo with your first pack, instinctively putting four to the front. Wolf Among Sheep, that is great art. Thunder and Ice. Accordion Eater, fun guy right there. Frost Ring, super cool. Spirit Shadow. Oh, Flatwoods Monster Hollow Rare. That's nice. Oh, that hollow pattern's so good. I am like loving my lighting right now. Look at all those accents in the hollow pattern, though. The meteors, the bigger meteors, the little swirls. It's just, it's a fun thing to look at. It really is. I appreciate you. So, out of those three decks, we got two reverse and one hollow. Let us keep it moving. So here's our next deck. Let's see, where is he on the, there he is. Okay. Might as well, right? Okay, be careful, be careful, Hillary. Let's not <laughs> destroy the box. I was thinking about doing this live, but ah, eh, 
I feel like my videos, most of my lives, don't do great. The recent one did get a thousand views after the fact. So there is the promo. UFO stamp promo. That is a gorgeous hollow. So it's one thing to keep in mind when you buy these theme decks, you are getting those promos and the pack as well. And of course the deck, the important thing, you know, playing the game. So at this point, I'm not reviewing the decks until Jamie and I learn how to play, like I said, because uh, I just don't know how to play MetaZoo yet. I am new to opening MetaZoo and stuff, and uh, I have to learn how to play. You know, we all got to start somewhere, and I have not attempted to play yet, but uh, I'm going to make a very serious effort to play the game. And that's, that's when you're going to get the real review of the decks. Can't review the decks if I don't know how to play. <laughs> All right, we got a tin foil hat. Looks like he's sweating a little bit. Might be a little hot. Oh, iridescent orb. I love the orbs. I really want to pull all of them in reverse, but we are starting off with a hollow for these decks. Nice. Nice. This knife is too intense, but I got my Mario knife. I love my Mario knife. But if you have tr oh, geez, see, look what I did. Look at what I did. I am the worst at opening stuff. <laughs> that is a okay, because not everybody is good at everything and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. I will say the Metazoo pack's pretty easy to open. Definitely hard to reseal. As I could imagine, I've never tried resealing a pack, but another non hollow rare men in black. Oh, I skipped a card. That's illegal. Foul play. Seed token. Area 51. Beautiful art. Light aura. Love that. I want that in a hollow. Croco Dingo. Love him. This guy is looking spicy. We got the. Ocean Calls, Crop Circles, very fitting for the set. UFO, Dwarf Star, Reaper Scythe, very cool. Oh, Houston Batman, a hollow right here. <whistles> Again, look at that. That is so good. God, my lighting's so great. <laughs> I'm so happy with myself for putting that one light overhead. Oh, okay. So... Now the hollows are uh, dominating a bit. Let's see if I can be a little more careful. All right, pack, here we come. But yeah, I think if, if you guys have opened these and played these, I want to know what you think down in the comments. I want to know what your pull rates have been out of the theme decks. I want to know what theme deck you prefer. Oh, Forest Friends, such a nice card. I love this card. We got a Sheep Token Suburban. I don't know if I've seen that card. I love it. <laughs> Cosmic Aura. That Lake Monster. I just noticed, you know, it's a pretty decent size set, 165 cards. I feel like that's an appropriate amount to put in a set. Over 100, under 200, I feel like is a good number. Um, ooh, Frozen Rain Orb, that is beautiful. I love them in hollow, but I feel like I really, really would love to get all these in reverse way they must twinkle but this leaves so much room for hollow it's just just breathtaking okay so two theme decks down and we got well we'll do a recap at the end and we'll do a little more conversation at the end too with me at the camera we're gonna jump into black knight satellite and i love this guy because he looks like a transformer or um a gundam and i rule I love Gundam. Love it, love it, love it. Come on, don't slice the... No. 
I bet if I just did this and then opened it with my fingers, I would have better luck. No, that seal is too good. That seal's really good. That little foil seal, man. So Black Knight Satellite, what will you give us? And again, with MetaZoo, you're looking for, you know, those rare numbered cards that have been to space. You know, I had a friend in the comments mention that. I, I didn't even realize that, you know. That is such a cool thing to put in a set. I wish Pokemon would do stuff like that. But, you know, TCGs, every single TCG can't do every cool thing. I respect it. You gotta cherish the ones that do do super cool things like that for what they do. The Dark Aura, Cosmic Lightning, Cyclone, Forest Elemental, Peace Offering, The Ocean Calls, we got a Crawfordsville Monster, Growro, <laughs> USO, I love that. that. Tell me that art's not adorable. Oh, we got a Hollow again, Dragon's Rise. That's a nice looking card. That is nice. Um, yeah, that, that hollow is just, when you look at these two dragons, have that hollow pattern surrounding them. What a complimentary hollow. <laughs> I'm enjoying it way too much. <laughs> okay, so Black Knight Satellite again. Let's go. Yeah, these theme decks, I mean, they just really seem like such a bargain. You know, I had purchased uh, Pokemon theme decks from France. Um, I think they were Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Black and White. And uh, they had packs in them. And I think if all the Pokemon decks had packs in them, can you imagine how much some of them would go for eventually? I feel like these MetaZoo theme decks are going to be kind of sleepers among the community, like the non-diehards, and then down the road people are going to be like, oh my god, I would give anything to get my hands on them. So we got the Magic Engineer's Oil. You know, that's that's just my speculation. I feel like, you know, if you could, if you could find theme decks at a good price, or even just retail, you know. This one's actually from Lemonster, Mass., which... You know, another kind of local one. I'm in Connecticut, but I did live, you know, in Massachusetts, so. Oh, Sky Snake. But that one has a, a, a North America, so that's unspecific. Even what country it could be in. Could be Canada, Mexico. There's, oh, we got a hollow UFO. One of the coolest hollows in the set, because the amount of hollow. And then again, just so fitting with the subject. You got the meteors, you got the, the swirls. I'm going to call them black holes. They kind of remind me of black holes. But definitely let me know what you call them in the comments. All right, Black Knight Satellite. Are you going to deliver on this last pack? So if you pulled one of the number cards, like one of the, the super, super rare cards from UFO, I want to hear about that in the comments. And if you know anybody who's done it, because to me that just, I can't imagine how I'd feel if I got one of those. I'd be beside myself for like a week. Go on. Go. Oh, that was a good job. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't think we looked at the Black Knight satellite promo, so we should do that. That, that I think is the coolest one. Again, UFO stamped. Beautiful. All right. Last one for Black Knight Satellite. Can we get a delivery? So far, I have to say, these theme decks are not disappointing with the pulls at all. At all. This is, this is starting to look like my booster box. <laughs> Coming in hot. There we got Girdle Greaser Pete with his bacon feet running at you. Coming in hot. All right. Trap Springer, Accordion Eater, Dwarf Star, USO. Oh, we got another reverse. Okay. The Kodiak Dinosaur in a reverse. 
He's still so cool in reverse. Like, see the shimmer on him and then light. Bam. <laughs> All right, so Black Knight Satellite, pretty solid. So we're going to go over to Forest Elemental Queen. Will she deliver the goods? She looks like she delivered the goods. I'm there for it. Okay. Let's see if I can... See, that was a pretty good slice. I'm proud of myself for that slice. Now, let's take a look at her promo, too. Here. Oh, yeah. Now it's nice and beautiful. All right. Let's, uh, you know what I haven't done is scan that QR code on the back. I should do that when I'm done filming. <laughs> I'm just kind of curious. But we are doing four to the front. We got another Magic Engineer's Oil Seed Token. Skipping like, oh, I don't think I've seen that one. That is so cool. Earth Aura. Breakfast Aliens. Come bring me some breakfast. If you bought, hold on, I just read that. If you bought breakfast between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. today, this page costs one less aura. So that is not good for people who don't eat breakfast. Or if you had it super late or super early. But I feel like that's the time frame that most people eat breakfast, so that's not a bad not a bad thing. If you're a routine person, we got another Houston Batman. Whew. Again, this one's got so many colors going on. I'm digging it. Digging it. So again, we'll do we'll go, do a good little tally at the end, a nice little conversation. Come on. Oh, I did a bad slice. I did a bad slice. It's okay. Still good. Still good. As long as I don't damage the contents. Will this pack be good to us? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's interesting to think about. So another Men in Black. Okay. I need this in a hollow. I had a friend on Instagram asking me, you know, trying to get one of those. Have you pulled one yet? I said, no, I have not. But uh, I will be sure to show you when I do. I got like a piece of the foil from the packaging on my finger. It's okay. It's just extra fancy. I want to guess. I don't think I've seen that one. It's really cool. Like some cards are definitely cards are definitely familiar. Then others I'm like, huh, I don't think I've seen that. The green fireballs and we got a reversed Sherman Beasts. That's nice too, but uh no light. Light. So good. Okay. This is looking uh, like a like a decent variety. Like, I'm, def I'm definitely not disappointed. Let's give it a slice of Rooney. I'm just a big old goofball tonight, I know. Yeah, so I'm really excited because uh, tomorrow I am going to Retro World Expo at the Connecticut Convention Center, which... Um, you guys won't see this video for probably a week or so, actually. Just because I have, like, so many videos lined up already. But uh, I'm probably going to film while I'm there. And that'll probably be a fun thing for you guys to watch. We got a friend token. We got a Fresno sunset. Love that one. Light Aura Burnout. That's a super cool card. Reminds me of a... Looks like these guys. Right. <laughs> I actually got a um, 
a stack of Metazoo hollows on my desk. Oh, is that Gumbaroo? That looks like Gumbaroo. <laughs> oh, we got the Lady in Red. Seven Thunders. Aquapura. Love Lock Lights. Oh, that's a fun card. Cryptid, Cryptid Busters and a Hollow. I don't think I have this one yet. Yeah, so if you guys know of a MetaZoo binder, please let me know in the comments. I'm looking for a really good one. You guys know I love to put my cards in, but oh, I can't put that in the wrong spot <laughs> as we're doing this experiment. Um, you guys know that I love to put my cards in binders and I want a really nice MetaZoo binder. So if you guys can recommend a MetaZoo binder, I would so appreciate that, you guys. Um, links would be great. If you want to message me on Instagram, that would be great with a link to, but if you can't leave it on YouTube for whatever reason. Um, so now we got our last one, the Tombstone Monster. Will the Tombstone Monster deliver? I got a big stack on my desk. <laughs> Come on, Tombstone Monster. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If I can get this one. This is the first one that was hard to open. <laughs> I don't know if I was just grabbing it weird. I try to open my packs delicately because I do save the wrappers like a weirdo. Like all of them, I like press them down super tight and put them in a box. So I have like a couple boxes of like Pokemon and other TCG wrappers. Another Forest Friends Rare, I love that card. We got a Tree Token, Bright Skies, Cosmic Aura, Burnout, Intergalactic Space Council. We got a Laser Beam, we got a Speed Demon. Card felt like extra thick. Huh. <laughs> I usually think it's just me and I'm like imagining things, but we got a reverse Casa Blanca Entities. I think that was the first one I pulled. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, it was. It was the first one I pulled. We are really getting a nice variety of hollows and reverse hollows. I don't know what pull rates you guys expect from MetaZoo, if it really is just so much randomness. Better slice. That was good. That was much better. Yeah, I do think them putting in a pack with each theme deck is going to be a good move on their part. I don't know if I showed you guys the whole box, too. So fun. Oh, look at that back there. I didn't even see that. Now I have, now that I emptied it. That's so cool. All right. But again, this is seeing what we pull out of these theme decks. We got a Frozen Rain Orb. Friend Token. Skipping Lake. Flame Aura, Carmel Area Creature, we got Lady in Red, I wonder whose initials those are over there, Aquapura, Dwarf Star, Reaper Scythe, and an Iridescent Orb again, what, I'll take it, I'll take it, I, I love the orbs like I said have a weird infatuation with them. But I'm here for the hollow pattern. Now, I can't say I know what cards in particular are worth from this set. I'm just enjoying them for what they are. Plain and simple. But yeah, so by the time you guys see this video, I'll have a, cool, a few cool videos out for you guys before then, but you know, hopefully I find some cool stuff at Retro World Expo. I'm hoping that uh, Jamie and I have fun. You know, I don't get to hang out with Jamie as much as I used to because, you know, I went back to work. Jamie's got a, a full-time job. Oh, okay, we got a non-Hollow Houston Batman. But, you know, he is my good friend. I am excited to uh, hang out with him. And, uh, yeah, hopefully play some MetaZoo and some other fun games together. Are being gun upgrade, the ocean calls, crop circles, energy being. I think that one's very cool. Tin foil hat, 
and Dragon's Rise Hollow again. So I feel like these theme decks were pretty nice. Good variety in them. So we'll do a recap. We'll sort them out here. So we got Dragon's Rise Hollow, Reverse Hollow. We're just doing a quick sort. So we got, let's see. One, two, three, four, five reverse hollows. So that already means <laughs> we did pretty good. We got Flatwoods Monster. Love to see this. This is so cool, right? We got an Iridescent Orb, Houston Batman, Frozen Rain Orb, Dragon's Rise. So that's five right there. You know, we opened 15, so we're going to have 10 hollows. I think this one might be like the coolest one for some reason out of everything we pulled. I mean, I, I don't know that. I feel like it's a toss up between that and Dragon's Rise, but I haven't pulled this one yet. So I feel like it's super cool. And I'm pretty sure I pulled Dragon's Rise, at least a non holo rare. But the Flatwoods Monster, super into that too. I don't know, there was no decks that I feel like lost, but the ratio was very good for this opening. I, again, we only opened 15, but I feel like it's safe to say if you get a case of theme decks, you're not going to lose, just based on what I've experienced. But again, I don't know how random the cards are inserted. This was just a, a tiny experiment. You know, we did a small, small sample here, but I'm... I'm very satisfied. I don't know about you guys. You got to let me know if this is good luck or not. I'm, I'm so curious what you guys think. All right, everyone. That is unfortunately all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it. Let me know if you agree with me down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a thumbs up and I'm going to see y'all very soon. Bye for now and take care.